welcome back to the channel guys today we are going snorkeling in marathon florida we're going to start out shallow going to hit up one of these shallow reefs and then we're going to make our way out to the lighthouse even at the lighthouse it's really not that deep but um there's just one little spot i definitely want to hit up it's a beautiful day out here today wind's a little blowing but a little cloud cover so that should give us a little bit of shade but we're about to get up here and start running out people are out on the sandbar that sandbar is probably the worst sandbar at marathon it's real grassy it's not the best one to go to we're about to take a little shortcut you can see right here in the map you can cut through right here between these two sandbars about 11 feet it goes up to four feet and then it uh, gets back down to 11 feet to seven feet there we go we just cleared the sandbar 6.8 feet right here all right we just got to our first snorkeling spot and it is called let me click on it here real quick and see it's called eastern washerman woman shoal and it's right around eight feet and you can see it has this little marker right here right when you come out of marathon it's just right on your right hand side and you can see the little marker there we got another boat coming up to snorkel with us but we're going to start out with a shallow snorkel and then we're going to head out to sabero reef, reef you can see it out there on um, the lighthouse out there but we're about to get in the water and do a little snorkeling we have just got done snorkeling this little reef good starter out reef not a lot of fish are on it it's actually um, pretty bare you can spear fish here and you can also fish here this is not a protected reef but it is very shallow so it's a great spot to start out snorkeling uh, the water is really not that clear today but you can see bottom has a very greenish tint to it a lot of coral down there though a lot of sea fans and there's some baby fish in there but nothing like there is on the um Sapona, not the sapona but the uh, lighthouse out there but we are about to head out that way good little stop though for just a quick snorkel but about to pull up the anchor and go to the next spot we have just gotten to some burrow reef and the water is so much clearer out here. You can see a couple of big barracuda. Um, they're just right out there. They were swimming across. You can see all the reef fish around. The water is just so much more beautiful. Can't wait to get into it. We're gonna do a little bit of snorkeling. Probably should have brought the dive gear now, seeing how clear the water is. Tons of boats out today. You can see it lined up. A um, lot calmer than last time when we were out here with Matt Dunn and David. So hopefully nobody gets lost going to their boats. We've got a flag up so we, we'll know which boat is ours. Shannon's just taking in how pretty the water is. But it is about 20 feet deep here and you can see all the way down to the bottom.
guys we have just got done with the best snorkeling trip on florida keys vacation guys we had so many fish swimming around us absolutely loved it so many yellowtail it was just amazing shannon loved it we got in there and it is look at just how many fish are around here on some burrow reef it is freaking just amazing having a blast out here lighthouse in the background not many people out here right now but it is just so peaceful super calm not very rough well you can see that barracuda on top of the water right there it is just beautiful we definitely got the best buoy marker and it is s05 so if you're coming down to Marathon and you snorkel the Sombrero Reef. That is the best buoy marker right there, S05. Really close to this big coral patch right here. And there are just fish all around us. There's really no other fish I can see like on the other boats, but all around our boat, there's just tons of these school fish. Look at that barracuda. I wonder if he's gonna go after one of these fish. Oh. He turned away. That would be fun to catch. Oh, there's another barracuda. You see him right out there on the surface. Here, let me see. I don't know if this will work or not. Let's see. Oh, he says, you see that barracuda out there. I don't know which way is better without the sunglasses or with it. But absolutely beautiful. Alright guys, well we are going to move along. But this was definitely a enjoyment of the trip. Alright guys, we have just gotten over to the best sandbar in marathon it's about a mile long but you can just see how much sand is actually here during low tide this is actually becomes like ankle deep tides coming in right now and then it's going to fall later on this afternoon so we got to make sure we can watch it but you can just see how pretty the water is it comes up we're going to be hanging out in this area this is a very popular spot and it's located right between crawl key which is over here crawl key and then grass key is over here and this sandbar runs about a mile all the way down. You can see all the boats tied up. And farther to, I guess this is to the south. Well, the keys kind of do that little hook like that. So farther to the west um, of the keys is the shallower part and kind of northeast is a little bit deeper. Well guys, that is another day in the books. We had a blast snorkeling. Shannon had a blast sandboring it up. Absolutely just beautiful out here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you on the water.